I was lucky enough to sit down with co-founder and CEO of SolarWave, Andrew Silverstein. SolarWave is the company producing the extremely popular SolarWave wand. Not only did I talk to Andrew about this wand, how it works, how it was designed, the neat features in this product that aren't in any other red light therapy product, but we also talked about his unique background and how he ended up in the red light therapy space. We went through all of SolarWave's other products, including their activating serum, which could be really useful if you're using other red light therapy products. We explore the potential benefits of other wavelengths, whether you can use the wand if you have makeup or Botox, for instance. In fact, we even talk about some of their upcoming products. So be sure to hang around until the end of the video because you don't want to miss that. Now, I do need to mention I am affiliated with this company. That means if you order through the link below or use the discount code, you get a discount, but I also get a commission. All right, let's get this interview started. Okay, so I'm here today with Andrew from SolarWave. So firstly, thank you for your time today. I know we're not at a health and wellness conference. Uh, and it's just quite amazing we cross paths. So I really appreciate the time. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited to learn not just about you, but the company, because I know a lot of people in the last few months have been asking me, well, what do you think of SolarWave? And I'm, I'm like, I actually don't know. I haven't really looked at it. So I'm excited for this conversation. Um, and hopefully all the viewers are going to learn a lot as well. Amazing. First off, I have to ask, do you consider SolarWave the company is a beauty company or a light therapy company? I would say definitely beauty, first and foremost, um, skincare particularly. But we, we describe ourselves as a device-led skincare company right. focused on light therapy. But we're not exclusively light therapy. We have topicals that obviously don't have light therapy in them. And then we do have uh, devices in the works that do not leverage light therapy. But I think we're often described as a red light therapy skincare company. Yeah, I guess that is the unique thing about you. Obviously, there are a lot of beauty companies with creams and, and serums, but yeah, the fact that you've got quite a unique product with the wand, uh, I guess is what sets you apart from a lot of those companies. So I do want to explore your product range, but first tell me a bit about yourself. What, what's your background? My background is early on, I was in the music industry and marketing. And that was basically because I was a teenager and wanted to get into, I loved music, I still do. And I wanted to figure out how to turn my passion into something that I could monetize uh, or to support myself. And so it was right around the time that the internet was changing how people were discovering music. And I kind of figured out this little niche of doing digital marketing for some of my favorite uh, artists and musicians. And so with that, I taught myself web development, uh, photography. I used to photograph concerts. And then um, through that, I started developing e-commerce early on for musicians and record labels where they were selling, you know, concert ticket packages and all sorts of things. So I kind of got this early introduction to e-com in 2004. Um, and so that was really, I've always been kind of a digital person. And after that kind of early journey in the music industry, I got more involved in digital apps. So working with a lot of engineers and learning more, a lot more about product development. We built a music streaming platform uh, and we sold that business to Live Nation. So I worked there for a couple of years. And once I kind of got tired of the music industry, I was really doing some soul searching and trying to figure out what I wanted to do next. And really my second passion was skincare, mainly because I've struggled with acne since the age of 12. And because of that, had really discovered all sorts of different treatments and topicals, most of which didn't really work for me. And ultimately, light therapy was what solved my skin issues. Uh, I went to a dermatologist that introduced me to light therapy and then started getting treatments almost every week or so. And it was great, but and working really well. It was just really expensive, um, time consuming, you know, you have to get make all these appointments, drive over there. And so I started thinking like, there's gotta be another way to create at better at home experiences. So you don't have to go to the clinic. Um, and at that point I'd tried all sorts of devices at home and they were often really bulky. They were often poorly designed. Um, often you had to plug them the first couple devices I had to plug into the wall. So you had to like stand in a mirror for 30 minutes. And so I really, kind of started spinning my, my, I guess, entrepreneurial wheels of like, how do we make something that people can use more easily and fit into their routine that also gives them great results. And did that then lead to the solar wave wand? Was that your first product? 
It was actually, so I, I did work on a separate skincare device before not with light therapy. Right. Um, it took me quite some time to piece together the product design and then the manufacturing and then the efficacy and kind of claims validation studies. And so ultimately, yes, it led me to, this is the first skincare uh, device I've produced with light therapy in it. And a lot of what inspired the wand was the previous device that I worked on, which was basically just a massager for your skin, which I was working with a celebrity makeup artist and she was using this on her clients. And I just said, why don't we bring this to the States? It was a product from Japan. And that experience really showed me that most devices on the market are either uncomfortable to use or they don't really, you don't feel anything happening. And that was a tool that people loved using because it felt good and it gave you very kind of immediate short-term results. And so the idea for SoloWave was how can we combine technologies that feel good to use so you're more likely to use them, but also technologies like light therapy that do take more time yeah. to give results, but also have longer lasting results. Yeah. So the wand, the solar wave wand, can you tell me a bit about it? Uh, wavelengths, how does one use it? Um, yeah, I mean, I've never touched the device. I've, I've, yeah. I've looked at the website, so, so I'm keen to <laughs> learn uh, myself, but yeah, tell me a bit about it and, and Go as deep as you want to if on the on the technical front. So this is our solar wave radiant renewal wand. It's our second edition of the wand, um, second gen. And so it comes in three colors as the black one, but very simple, intuitive design. It's kind of shaped like, I mean, it's a wand. It's kind of shaped like almost a razor, some people think, because you can rotate at 90 degrees. And so the idea is it's super lightweight, easy to travel with, um, portable. This is a, uh, the second gen has a button on it. So you just basically hold it to turn it on. You'll see light therapy. That's the most visible feature in it. But really the key was we have, it's a four in one tool. So at the same time, you're getting, you're getting light therapy, galvanic current, um, therapeutic warmth and massage. And so the two easier ones to describe are the warming and massage. The warming really helps with deep puffing and helps with circulation and as does massage. Um, and so those are the parts of the device that feel really nice to use and um, give you kind of that immediate short-term uh, benefit. And then the light therapy, obviously your channel is very familiar with red light therapy. This is at 630 nanometers and a max or, uh, a radiance of 40 to 45 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Wow. Um, obviously very small yeah. surface area. So that's something that for us is really critical to get little the contours of the skin especially under the eyes and that's why it kind of rotates and then we have galvanic current which there's a lot of amazing research on it helping boost hydration um, and predominantly why people often see results early with the tool is that galvanic current really helps your your skin better absorb topicals both the ones you put on right before the wand and after and so you know, if you're using other creams, moisturizers, or are activating serum, um, it really helps absorb and get better benefits from those uh, ingredients. And so to use it, you basically, you can choose either using it vertically like this, or you can rotate it. And then basically we, we sell an activating serum with it that really helps the wand glide, but also has some anti-aging benefits to it. Apply that on, and then you basically use it in an upward and outward motion across the face. We generally say to use it for three minutes per quadrant of the skin. So a total of 12 minutes is ideal. And you can also use it on the neck if you like. Um, and we recommend people use it at least three times a week, but you know, most of our customers use it daily. Yeah. So are they LEDs or lasers? LEDs. Cause they're, they're very bright. I mean, I've seen a lot of little portable red light therapy devices right. and you can turn them on and you think really, and then I test them with a the spectrometer and, and there's nothing in them, but uh yeah they look quite intense and you said 40 milliwatts yeah cinema script so that's at the surface obviously that's yes. and you're you're using this against the skin okay. or you hold it off the skin on the skin it's critical that you touch the skin because that's when you're going to get the maximum um you know impact of light therapy and leds are critical for us this is not laser therapy we are exploring new products with laser light in it but we follow very strict fda uh, specifications, both in terms of the irradiance, but also the actual, you know, the, the, the LEDs in the product. Um, but yes, they are bright. So the gal galvanic current, mm -hmm. so I've never heard of this before. So, uh, I'm assuming that also needs contact to work, right? Like yeah. skin contact. That is contact. So I know you talked about the benefits, but 
how does that exactly work? Are you getting shocks? Like, well, what's going on? It's it, it, not. It's, you know, it actually is very kind of calming. You right. don't get shocks. Our first device, our first gen one was microcurrent. And that one in our, in that intro device, it was a very entry level degree of it. But microcurrent is the one that's better known for, frankly, shocking you. Right. Um, this is something actually with our, we have a dermatologist and esthetician panel, yeah. and they were strongly suggesting early on to look into galvanic current because of those benefits. Uh, it's something that they often do in med spas, which um, with a much more complex device. Uh, but this actually just feels very soothing. And nice. So I have to ask, the warming effect, is that a, it's a feature, not a bug? Like, is that simply a byproduct of having those intense LEDs in there that it's creating a bit of warmth and thus it's... Is that where the wall is coming from? It's, it's definitely a feature. So yes. there is a ch part of the, the actual like manufacturing piece of this was to have warmth okay. in it. There is, right. there is some warmth from the lights, but uh, if anything, it was more of a challenge, particularly in the second gen, to get it to the warmth that we wanted. Um, and the key is that it's not heat, it's warmth. Heat can sometimes irritate the skin. Um, but that was also, I mean, there, it was a feature, A, for the benefits, but also, again, it kind of feels nice yeah. to use like if you get it if you have something that vibrates your skin it's nice but if it's also warming it feels a lot better yeah. and so part of this was like making this more of an addictive experience um and also the fact that you know we we've seen in a lot of the research we've done and other brands that the right degree of warmth can also help um you know deep up the skin and help with circulation right. as well and i think i think though it's actually quite an important feature because people that are new to light therapy you know, the thought of just shining a light. Right. It's, it's like, really? I mean, yeah. you can read the studies, you can hear anecdotal reports, but still it's like, it's just light. So some people actually, you know, the fact that there are those sensations. Right. It's, it's like, oh, this is doing something, right? And I think that's quite important. Right. Uh, especially when it comes to like a beauty sort of product. Um, I think so too. I mean, I, that wasn't frankly what drove the idea to include warmth in the beginning but then it became so clear as i met more people either with a product development background or even just consumers that there is this you know connection if they the more that they can sense something's happening that they're more likely to use it and i think that's really for us where we spend the most time in our product development is how do we make this something that people are get addicted to and really want to use because i like many other consumers and a lot of the research we did for solo wave is if they did decide to buy a device like a light therapy panel or mask, then the next, the, generally the issue was they weren't using it often. Right. And then obviously if they're not using it, they're not gonna get results. And so, you know, I think it, it does help the more you feel like something's happening. Um, and for us, the key also then is it's, we also don't just want placebo effect yeah, right. elements too. We want it to actually have benefits. Um, but yeah, it's definitely an important part for us with the experience. Cause I, when I use light therapy panels or masks, my issue was like, I didn't really, you can see the light. Yeah. That's helpful. Whereas like, you know, something like galvanic current, you can't see or really feel, but it wasn't, you know, I feel like there wasn't enough of like a reward for me mentally, other than the fact that like over time I knew my skin would improve. Yeah. And so that was really the goal here is how do we make this something that a lot of our customers will say, it doesn't feel like a chore, you know, like brushing your teeth might do that. This is something that actually feels like a little luxury kind yeah. of moment of self care to use. Yeah, I, I totally get it. I really do. Especially because 12 minutes, I mean, it's not that long in the scheme of a day, but you know, 12 minutes doing that, if, if there was no instant sort of right. feedback i doubt many people would right. stick with it so it's quite interesting but what's also fascinating is yeah i know other products out there are uh, there's like a, a headset for instance that's using near infrared light mm -hmm. which is of course invisible right. and they'll put two red led diodes right. in there just because <laughs> people are like really like i can't see yeah, anything like you know right. <laughs> because it's, it's, it's an important thing so uh, i to be honest i think the big reason for the success is of your product is probably because of those features. A big reason for why people are using it so frequently. Because, um, yeah, I, I just know if it was just a red light, people would be like, oh. Right. It would get kind of tiring after all. If it didn't feel good to use, I don't think people would use it nearly as much. I want to unpack the wavelength and the radiance here. So you said 630? 630, 630, yeah. 630, 40 milliwatt centimeter squared irradiance. Did you just, is that what the... LEDs had and you just is that or you could source or like what's the logic is the rationale here is it research to support these numbers curious yeah. to learn a bit more here for us uh early on 
we wanted to make sure our devices followed FDA predicates uh, so that we could clear them. And um, we're excited that all of our new devices have um, FDA clearance um, upon launch. And so the, the good and bad news is that makes it very clear what it needs to be in order to, you know, depending on the predicate you're using, you basically have to have almost exactly the same specifications. Um, I would say the challenge is obviously with a small surface area is making sure that you can get, it was, it was frankly very challenging to get to the output that we needed to qualify. Um, so, and then to answer your question about research, the reason that it, we're using a predicate is that's a device that's already gone through all the research and trials to show that that is the effective wavelength, irradiance, a wavelength and irradiance at the prescribed amount of time. And so that's why we, you know, the three minutes, for instance, comes from that predicate. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's basically we, you know, the benefit of following FDA predicate is you are, you're also able to leverage existing clinical research that's been done, which does help you in the product development piece. But again, it can be a challenge to get to those numbers. And so it took us for this second gen, I think it took us an extra year plus, not strictly for this issue, but this was one of the many things where you're trying to maximize, you're trying to get to the predicate, you're trying to get to the right wavelength, the radiance, but then if you think about battery power, you know, the more compact the device, there's a lot of components to really get the product right. Speaking of battery power, how long, how many sessions can you get out of one charge? We, uh, you could get about five to five to eight, depending on the length you're using it. And I will say a lot of people that I talk to anecdotally, they may not want to spend 12 minutes in one setting. So they might split that session up into multiple. Um, but yeah, it's a relatively, you know, decent enough, uh, battery time. Obviously I'd love it to be double, but we're not there yet. But <laughs> you could go traveling for a long weekend and you don't need the job. Yeah. That's, that's powerful. That's good. A question I know people are going to ask. How does this compare to a red light therapy panel or a mask? Now, I know, well, I'll let you answer it, but I, I, I sort of know what the answer is going to be with all those other features, but right. curious to... Yeah, I would say, I mean, the most obvious difference is the form factor. Um, this in particular, because it's four in one, has the numerous um, technologies in it. So you're basically getting more benefits than strictly light therapy. You're getting... Uh, as I mentioned, galvanic current, therapeutic warmth, vibration, massage. Um, so for somebody who wants, this is how we present this is it is the most effective, efficient at home, uh, multi-purpose skincare tool. So I would say masks, we sell a mask too. We are big fans of masks. That's really for someone who wants a higher dose output, uh, of light therapy. And it's also hands-free. So you're not, you know, you don't have to do anything. Again, I think people love the feeling and experience of this product, but I would say a more savvy light therapy user who wants to really maximize the efficiency, they would go more for a mask. Um, and then in terms of panels, those obviously have like the strongest output. Now the, the downside is you're not, at least I'm not touching them, right? I'm, you know, at least a couple inches or sometimes feet away, depending on where they are. But those are for, you know, full body exposure. Those are definitely the best. Um, we also have a light, we have a solar wave house in LA. We have that light therapy bed I was mentioning earlier that um, you can lie on as well with red and infrared. So they're all different. I think the key is you really want to invest in something that you're going to use. And I've fallen into the trap numerous times of buying the most powerful, effective thing on the market because I want the best. But at the end of the day, if it's something that is clunky or hard to use, or I can't travel with it, I'm not going to benefit from it. So for us, we really feel like this is a great entryway into the light therapy world. And even if you already have a mask or you have a panel, it's just another way to, to benefit from it. Um, but that's also why a lot of our, you know, we launched a mask uh, last year and we have new formats of light therapy, larger surface area light therapy products, because a lot of our consumers, they're, they're, learning about light therapy often through us and then they want more they want to figure out how do they treat other areas of the body and and get the best benefit hey real quick christian are you enjoying this video if so go down can you just hit the like button you see what i do is every few months i look at all the videos we look at view time and also likes and the ratio if there's a video that's got a really good like to view ratio that means my team and i will try and make more videos like that so if you're enjoying this video and you want to see more videos like this hit the like button and then be sure to subscribe so you get notified when another video like this is published. Your activating serum. Now I know you sell that as a combo package on your website and you also sell it separately. And my understanding is that it's designed to 
support complement the use of yes. the work? Yeah. What is it? How does it work? So basically, I mean, early on, and this actually came, uh, original idea came from the last skincare tool I worked on, that in order to really use it properly on the skin, you want some sort of topical that's going to A, hydrate the skin, but B, kind of lubricate the skin to support gliding it as intentionally as you'd like to. So you can use this technically on dry skin, but it's not as good of an experience. It kind of, it can tug easily. It's not, it's not the same kind of luxurious at home spot um, that you want. So we, our first serum that we came out with was really just something that hydrated and lubricated the skin to support the wand. And specifically for microcurrent, it had the right um, conductive ingredients to help amplify and distribute the current across the face. Right. Our new serum, uh, Skin Therapy, which we just launched, is builds upon that. And again, it hydrates the skin, but also helps distribute the galvanic current evenly across the skin. So you're getting the best benefit. Um, so you basically, you know, take a, you dispense like a squirt or two of it on your face, apply it. We also, from our customer feedback, we listen to customers constantly. We get so much feedback from them, which is amazing and really helped us kind of shift and evolve our product um, catalog. We have anti-aging um, ingredients in this as well. So we have an ionic mineral complex, which does help with the conductivity. And then we have peptides, which help with um, signs of aging. And so now you're getting beyond just supporting the wand and its benefits, you're also getting additional anti-aging benefits. Um, we are investing heavily now, and we, well, I should say we have been for the last two years with some chemists on light therapy boosting topicals. That's what I'm most excited about. We're just not there yet. So it's been, you know, two years in the making, and we have some stuff coming out hopefully this end of this year. Really? But that's really where we're trying to take this, are topicals that will amplify the effects of light therapy. That's cool. You say amplify, I mean, what is it? Magnifying the intensity, that's scattering the photons, like what? We're looking at basically the ingredients that are activated by light, but also potentially would magnify it. And that would help, you know, further maximize either the results you're getting from, a, let's say, a 12-minute treatment or could potentially shrink down the treatment time. It's obviously very complicated because, you know, we're dealing with FDA, we're dealing with, you know, drug versus cosmetic. And so it's been a very, you know, it's a passion of ours, but I think the challenge is really going to be ultimately once we're in trials how do we really figure out the best way to kind of prescribe it with the wand yeah that's so cool and it'd be such a neat product for the space as a whole because yeah if someone's out there using a panel or a mask you know even from another country right. it's like hey you know this is going to support right the treatment so uh I'll that's the dream yeah you know, i'll definitely uh stay in the loop uh in terms of updates on that front I, i've noticed a few times you've refer you've used the term light therapy not red light therapy now, I'm interested, have you actually looked into other wavelengths? You know, your green, um, amber, yellow, even the near infrared. Have you looked yeah. into them from a beauty? One of no. Definitely. So we, I mean, first and foremost, I got into light therapy for acne. So I was using blue light therapy. Um, we used to have a blue light therapy wand. We then changed the format. So we have a product I wish I had it on me called Bi Acne, which is a very small, portable um, spot treatment for pimples that combines blue and red. So blue helps more with killing the bacteria that causes acne. Red is more for the inflammation post having an acne lesion. Um, so that, so blue is a big part of our vision. We also have a mask, a light therapy mask with both red and blue in it. Um, we have several new products coming out this year with near infrared in it. Um, and that's, you know, for various additional uh, anti-aging benefits. And then we also, one of the products for, uh, I guess, supporting the signs of aging around the eyes does have amber in it as well. So we're really excited about the progression and our partners have been very adamant also about the benefits of green light therapy. We are, but once again, kind of limited by the FDA guidance. So that's kind of always the challenge. I think there's a lot of interesting research happening on all these wavelengths. And um, for us and our brand positioning, we focus on, on essentially wavelengths that we believe will support uh, signs of aging. We call it pro-aging. We're not anti-aging. We Everyone's aging. That's a sign of life. But many of us do want to kind of age gracefully and kind of slow down some of the wrinkles and other, other effects that we see. Um, so I'd say near infrared and red are really what we're most known for. I think acne has actually been the most challenging one because there's so many reasons people have acne. It, it's not always that it's the acne bacteria and therefore, or the specific bacteria to cause acne, and therefore light therapy isn't going to solve everyone's acne. And so 
uh, my, my challenge growing up was that I, there were so many anti-acne products that didn't work for me. And what we're finding with our acne products is like, they don't work for everyone. They work for a lot of people, but that's why we have for all of our products, a trial period, 30 days, try it, use it. And if you don't see results, we will happily refund you and take it back because we don't want anyone to feel, yeah. you know, oversold and underdelivered. Of course. So the, the acne product, is that small, uh, just you, you spot treat? Yes. Yeah. It's a little handheld. That's the, that's the buy acne product. And then in the mask, it's a full face treatment where you can choose either red or blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is cool. I, yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know you had a mask. I thought you were working. It's on, on the website right it's now because it's sold out. Yeah. <laughs> we have a, the new versions coming out probably in about a month. What's, what's in the new version? The new version is red and infrared. So basically, as our business has evolved, mo we're, we're learning our customer base is much more interested in kind of this the pro aging element, less so acne. And so we're we're looking at the at moving forward, focusing devices for acne that are more spot treatment Got it. versus yes. full face. Yeah, I mean, chances are. Uh, there's different uh, cases, but yeah, it turns out you might only have a few pimples in right. a certain area, not your whole yeah. entire face. So the new mask, you're dropping out the blue, bringing in the infrared. What the infrared wavelength? A thirty. A thirty. Yeah, that's that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's um, plenty of research around A thirty, especially for skin beauty benefits. So right. that's good, good, good choice. A six thirty red in there as well, or six thirty red. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, it's it's you've kind of got the full product lineup, don't you? You know, like like you said, you've got the the wand with all the unique features that has. But then if someone wants the full face, right, treatment, you get the mask. And then if you're unfortunate and you have a few pimples, you go get the uh, pimple treatment. And then you get your serums and creams. Um, and soon other parts of the body. Taylor, I'm really excited about. Can you reveal anything? Yeah, we're, we have a neck and decollete mask here. So a lot of our customers are seeing or have asked about something for their chest area. So that's coming out. Um, I would say the other ones, you'll just have to wait and see. Okay. But other parts of the body, there's not so many parts of the body. So you can probably guess where, where it's going. But um, body care has really been taking off in the skincare world. And we just see so much opportunity with light therapy and and particularly for us we try to make products that are beautifully designed and super portable so people again you know want to use them okay so i've got a few quick fire questions around the use of the wands um so i'm going to run through them try to be uh yes no if you want to uh, yes no answers are fine otherwise elaborate if you feel like there needs to be more information uh given firstly can it be used if someone is getting Botox? Yes. So we technically recommend consulting your dermatologist or whoever, you know, gives you your Botox, but there's been a lot of research, particularly on the current, um, helping actually maintain results. But we do recommend talking to a doctor and generally waiting a couple of days, potentially a week after and before each treatment. Okay. And by the way, these are referring to the solar wave wand. Yes. Um, makeup, should one remove the makeup before using it? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Um, you know, there's so many forms of makeup, but essentially it will minimize the efficacy of the product. And our product is designed to be used on clean, uh, makeup free skin. So this is definitely meant to be done as part of your routine before makeup. If it's in the morning, if it's at the end of the day, clear the makeup and then, you know, go through your routine. Time of day, is it better to use it morning, night? Doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It's really whatever suits you best. I would say whenever you're spending more time, I don't, you know, some people have the exact same routine morning and night. Others do a more intense morning, more intense evening. I would do the, the time of day where you're more invested in your routine to benefit from the absorption of your other topicals. Okay. If you use anything harsh like retinol on your skin, we recommend using the wand at the other time of day. Gross, yeah. Because retinol has a photosensitivity effect or something is that it can have that and also just it can irritate the skin and it wasn't you know retinol products are not designed to be used with a device that is helping it absorb more so it's just it's likely or there's a stronger chance that you might have even if you're not as sensitive to it on its own that by using it with a wand you become more sensitive to yeah. it i've i've played around with retinol recently um and yeah i i remember reading that yeah it could cause uh, obviously skin irritation and um but yeah i had the photosensitivity side effect right. and 
No, I totally forget because I, I was using it in the evening right. and then the next morning I was doing real life therapy and yeah, I, within a few days I was like, oh gosh, I've got to stop right. this. <laughs> and I stopped using it every day, the red and just went to every second day and it was trying, I don't do real life therapy sessions on the weekend. I tie it in with my um, training days. It's right. just part of my routine. So I tried to use it more on the weekends and yeah, had no issues with it once I sort of no, was more of aware of the, right. the relationship. Right. And sometimes it's also you might just be on a stronger dose again. So you could like if you did react, I would just try a weaker dose. Yes, yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, overuse. Uh, you say three minutes per quadrant, twelve minutes total. Is more better? Should one do six minutes per quadrant? Um, <laughs> that's a challenging one to answer because so meeting. I'll say this: I use it for like thirty to forty-five minutes a day. Oh. Um, and that's throughout the day. I don't use it all sitting at once. Like I have it at my desk and for me, it's like partially therapy among other things. Um, but with light therapy, the benefits are cumulative. So yes, the more you're exposed, the better. And um, I would say, listen to your skin or look at your skin. But you know, you'll see if you're, if you're getting any sort of negative reaction. But I think a lot of our customers do use it a lot longer than the yeah. you know, recommended time. I feel like... But our studies are done yeah. on the three minutes per quadrant. Right. So that's kind of, right. that's what we stand behind. But, you know, I'm, I, I'm personally, I use it for longer because I'm very aware of the benefits and potential risks and, you know, the benefits just far away. Yeah. Well, I mean, in terms of downsides, side effects, risks, they're very little uh, when you look at the research. And even, you know, you, I've got a Facebook community, 6,000 people in there. And yeah, every now and then you'll hear someone who, who has a rash. This is not from your product, but like from panels and stuff. And it's, it's so rare. And right. typically that person that has a bit of a reaction, they simply cut back the intensity, do less treatments, right. and it's fine. Because, of course, there is, going to, there is a potential for um, uh, a detoxification sort of effect, especially if someone's coming into it with a lot of health issues or right. very sensitive. But um, I probably... Sh yeah, I mean, I know you say you're doing 20, 30, 40 minutes per day, but maybe we want to clarify that, hey, you probably don't want to be using this for hours every day. Like, there is going to be an yeah, yeah, I, like, I think, yeah, I don't, I guess the, I don't have enough research on what would happen if you use it for that long, right. but I would say I wouldn't use it for hours and hours and hours. Um, I, I would, I would, I would stick with, I would start with the recommended dosage and see where that goes. I would just say, you know, if you were to do double or triple, I don't think it would be, I mean, I'm not having any issues, but I think definitely hours and hours and hours of exposure. I, yeah. We just, we, I don't know enough about, you know, the long-term impacts there. Because there is the biphasic response, a biphasic dose response. And yeah, like there is a sweet spot when mm -hmm. it comes to red light therapy, but it depends also on the wavelength, the intensity, uh, how that is delivered, like in a short burst, obviously, uh, you can pack all that energy, energy up into a laser, concentrate it on one point and right. shine it for 30 seconds and you're literally going to burn the skin. Right. Or you can spread that dose, you know, you, like cooking a cake, you know, you can put it in the oven at 180 Celsius for 30 minutes, perfect. Or you can compress all that energy into one minute, you're burning the whole thing, right? right? So, so there is that sweet spot um, and you can also underdo it. Uh, this is just based on my understanding and looking at the research. Right. The thing is, there's just so many unknowns, right. you know, and, and, and that's why, like, I, I like your answer saying, well, the research, we know the research is showing that this particular dose is working. Right. And I'm sure you've seen that with all your reviews and, and reports from customers, right? right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that that particular dose is optimal or perfect. You may find in coming years that actually two and a half minutes is bang on, right. you know, so. Um, and there, the, to your point, there's so many factors, you know, from the course. individual, their skin, Yes. What right. products are they using? Do they have a health issue they know about? Do they have a health issue they don't know about? Um, and that's why, you know, I take my own risks with skincare. I mean, part of it's I'm always tinkering with products. and But I, I think the safest thing is to follow the instructions and guidelines, especially, you know, invest in products that follow, in, yeah. at least in the States, FDA guidelines, because there's a lot of research that goes into that. And that's why I would be careful about buying anything, you know, from like Alibaba or TikTok shops that might have an attractive price point, but may not, well, in most cases doesn't have enough light therapy to even benefit at all, but in some cases could have some other dangerous component, whether it's radiation or, you know, some form of a current that shouldn't be there. 
Um, so yeah, I think the safest thing is follow the usage instructions. They're there for a reason. And the company, like SoloWave, we're standing behind results yeah. following the guidelines. Um, I, and the panels I use, I do not, you know, explore beyond the recommended usage time just because, uh, you know, with the output there, that's where I want to make sure that it's, you know, I'm following the, the safety guidelines. So the key takeaway is follow the, the product company's recommendations, let the, I don't want to say idiots, the uh, pioneers experimenters like myself and, and Andrew, because uh, I did the same with the panels. I, I push the limits and right. I test things. Uh, let us experiment and also let the scientists continue doing research right. it, and it's just going to get better and better. Yeah. Um, a final quick question is, uh, can that, can, could your wand be used? Like we know red light therapy, especially 630 is beneficial for, you know, skin wound healing, for instance. So someone grazes their knee and they're not fortunate enough to have a panel. I mean, is there any reason why you couldn't use the wand? Maybe not on the surface, yeah. but like a, a centimeter off or so? I would say I wouldn't touch it directly. We say don't touch, you know, broken skin. But no, I mean, there, you absolutely could do that. You know, we don't make claims around that, but it, you know, at the end of the day, that's the wavelength, that's the irradiance. And definitely, you know, there's nothing like unique about these LEDs that say they have to be used on the face. It's just for our, for this product and our business, we focus on, at least for the wand, it's a focus on the face and the neck. And so that's what we speak about, but absolutely. I don't see why you couldn't. Okay. So you touched on this briefly, but I do want to unpack it a little bit more. I often get asked, Alex, there's a product, product X out there, you know, it's been, it's very popular, lots of great case studies, reviews around it. But then I've just found this Alibaba product or this TikTok one. It looks very similar. It's a quarter of the price. Um, I'm sure you're seeing this out there. There must be knockoffs or, you know, competitors' products. How, what should, I don't want to say how's your, yours better. Instead, I'll ask, what should someone be aware of or what should someone look at or consider before, you know, trying to cut corners and, and save right. the money? Well, I think, I mean, starting with light therapy, you want to make sure first and foremost that whatever you're using is safe. Um, and by that, I mean, you won't damage yourself using it. So that's one consideration. The other one is, is it actually effective? And so something we've seen, so we do have copycats, um, and you know, technically we're, I guess we feel lucky that we've created enough of an impact in the industry that people are ripping us off. But I think what's been unfortunate and a lot we i bought probably every possible copycat at this point and we run a lot of testing on these devices and they often don't have the proper wavelength they often do not have enough uh irradiance or power and there have been certain ones that have an unsafe degree of radiation or if they have if they're following our kind of four in one model they have a current in it that isn't what it's supposed to be and therefore there's all sorts of safety concerns so i would say especially for things that are you're using for body or facial health, invest in products that have the right level of research and efficacy. I would look for a manufacturer that, or sorry, I'm ordering from a brand that stands by the manufacturing and particularly that they follow international, you know, ISO guidelines because these, you know, this is your body. And especially when with current, there's certain products I've seen that it, the current they have could be very detrimental to your body. And so it's really this, I would say this is like one of those areas that you don't want to cut corners, especially for a multi-purpose tool, which a lot of our tools are. For strictly light therapy, I would say so long as the irradiance and the wavelength are in line with research, I would say I'd feel a little bit less concerned if you're buying something that's kind of a cheap knockoff, but I still think there's this opportunity with radiation that a lot of people don't aren't thinking about. I just think it's not worth it. I would say there's plenty of brands out there. We we present ourselves as a very accessible brand. That doesn't mean that, you know, everything's wildly cheap. We understand that it's still for some people it's a, for many people it's a splurge, but I think this is an area where the benefits are worth it. It's still far more affordable than going and getting treatments in a med spa or clinic, and so I would really suggest supporting brands that are truly pioneering the the space investing in research a lot of the reasons why there are cheaper products out there they're not running testing you yep. know they're not queuing their products and frankly many of them are just ripping off all the creative that we invest in and, and even our instruction manuals so it's like there's a re it's not that we're just like slapping some luxury tax on this it's really that we invest heavily in studies in research in proper manufacturing and QC, and that all comes at a cost. And so you kind of get what you pay for, and I would just 
yeah. consider that. Okay, cool. So what exactly is your website address and where can people find out more about your products, community, yourself even? Yeah, our uh, website is mysolowave.com. Um, so M-Y-S-O-L-A-W-A-V-E.com. And then you can find us on all social media, just at Solowave, S-O-L-A-W-A-V-E. Uh, probably most active on Instagram and TikTok. And then I'm Andrew Silverstein. I'm probably best found on LinkedIn. Instagram too, but I'm, I'm not really good at Instagram. So it's hard, it's hard. if I don't respond, it's because I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Andrew, thank you very much. Great it was a really good uh, conversation. Uh, I've, I've learned a lot. I'm excited to review these products myself. And um, yeah, I'm also very excited to see what you're working on, you know, what's going to come down the pipeline in the coming months and years. But before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to share? Is there anything we missed or anything else you'd like to tell anyone? No, I think that covered a lot. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. really excited. Cool. Well, thank, thank you again. Time. And um, I look forward to chatting later on. Okay, that is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, I'm going to be doing a full review on the SolarWave wand. I'm also going to check out some of the other products. If there's a particular SolarWave product you want me to review, leave the comment down below. If you do want to purchase one of the SolarWave products, again, links, discounts are all down below. Otherwise, I highly recommend checking out this video. Well, actually, no. YouTube recommends that you check out this video because YouTube algorithm is pretty good. And that's saying this video here is for you. Go check it out.